Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. Do you remember this enclosure? Yes, this enclosure was the one we're running our lead acid battery with. You recall this lead acid battery that I was trying to re re recover? I'll do a video to explain to you how this works later. So, um, this enclosure here had that inverter. I got a reliable pure sine wave inverter. 500 watts 12 volts. I have a charge controller. Um, 150. So 100 volts, 50 amps. And then I have my DC breakers. We might replace them because they look ugly. They've been around for a while. But guess what we're going to do differently this time? Guess what does that? Lithium phosphate batteries. So this is 12 volts. 100 amp hours. So 12 volts, 100 amp hours, I can discharge up to 90% of this. At 12 volts, that's 1,200 watt hours. 9 times 2, 8. 9 times 1, 9. So I could pull 1,080 watt hours out of this battery. Compared to this one that was rated at 200 amp hours, and I could only pull 100 amp hours if I'm lucky. So we've had it top balanced. We'll initially run it without a BMS. I know a lot of you will tell me I'm nuts, but we're only putting like a hundred, you know, we're only putting like 50 to 100 watts max. So I don't think we're going to unbalance this. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. But we're going to run it without, initially without a BMS and then we're eventually going to put a BMS on it to manage it. I have a bunch of small 12 volt BMSs. Um, there's nothing to really write home about, but I am going to eventually, we're going to eventually put it on so we can monitor and then control what comes in and what goes out. It's 100% of the grid, and those batteries will go up here, right? Yes. This is where we're putting the battery? Yes. The battery is going to go right here. Uh, we're going to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the venting of the inverter. Um, so that's it. If we're able to pull this off, we'll put together a bunch of small systems for customers, you know, upgrade where they only want to power some minimal items, and then we'll offer it to them. Everything will be inside that enclosure right there. So we come in, we plug it on the wall, we pull our PV wires in, we pull our AC wires out, and the customer is ready to come. So if you have any opinion that's different from the one I just post, I just mentioned, please let me know what it is. If you think I should do something different, you also let me know what you think I should do differently. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from... Oh, wait! There is more. If not subscribed, please push the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe icon. I thrive when you see more subscribers. Uh, in the last 28 days, it said I picked up 78 subscribers. So if we can do 100 a month, that would be awesome. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from... Vegas, Nigeria. Louder. Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> That's Victor, by the way. <laughs>